Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on uh, the Silver Run Force map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to plant our uh, forest property 18 uh, with new trees and then uh, get started with our third plot of land, which is uh, basically this land right in front of me. I actually did own this right at the beginning of the game, but if you guys haven't been watching the whole series, all along. I sold it because I wanted to start somewhere else. Um, and then I just now purchased it. Well, in the last episode, I purchased it back. So yeah, we had, um, we had a, an interesting time, shall I say, uh, moving all of our stuff over here. And I recorded some of that footage. So here's a, a little montage for you guys. stuck in the mud let's pack up a life baby and call it a night cause the longer we stay here the harder the fight i said hey yeah 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts i said hey the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about You will see us howling like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger than wanting what you might get I said hey yeah 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 call it a star by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said hey
Okay, so we're gonna do some stuff um, to before we get started with the actual planting. So I'm gonna go into the build menu and the store here is going to put out a, a pressure washer for us to wash our equipment. Um, and basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna charge people to use it. So instead of me paying a little bit of money each time I use it, uh, I'm gonna pay for it by paying for it first and then using it for free afterwards. Uh, so we're gonna go to our steel uh, pressure washer and never mind maybe we're not going to do this it's not going to let me put it here not even free mode um okay you know what we might be able to do though instead then once we get our permanent property you know going then i will um you know i'll put a washer up there but why don't we do this at the service station then so trying to just see where the best place to do it's going to be Yeah, you know, whoop. what I might do is, if the game will let me, is why don't we maybe stick it over here up against the fence. Uh, tools. Yeah, it'll let me put it here. Okay. So we just need to turn it so it's straight-ish. Probably right about there, I'm thinking. And yeah, we'll just put the washer right here. And this, so the store basically lets you wash your vehicle here, but they, they charge you, you know, whatever, five bucks each time you do it. But since we just paid for the whole thing, we have effectively have free lifetime use of that washer. But the store can charge other people if they want to. Because <laughs> we, we need to wash some of our stuff. I mean, I'm, I haven't washed any of our equipment since we started this series and... It's pretty dirty. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now, um, I'm thinking about trying that other planter. I don't know how well it's going to work, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to try it. And if I don't like it, then I don't like it. So let's go into forestry equipment, and we want to grab the Damcon planter. And we're just going to lease it, of course and see how it works this has been in the in farming sim 22 from the start so this is actually not a new piece of equipment but um the the upside to it i think oh look at that it's got like um like little tillers there that's kind of neat the upside to it is i think it's pretty fast the downside to it is it doesn't i don't think it holds a lot of trees so you have to continually refill it uh what is the horsepower requirement on that i, don't, I wouldn't imagine it's very high uh 120 horse okay so we could actually use the volvo uh with this okay yeah let's do that let's hop in the volvo here and we're gonna actually want to Disconnect this. Our trees are up at the, the cabin, so we're going to have to drive up there and get them. So, uh, you know, again, I just want to try this. I might not like it, and if I don't like it, then, you know, we know for next time, but maybe I will. We'll see how it goes. I'm wondering, though, if we're going to have to refill it frequently... No lines to hook up? Guess not. Interesting. Um, if we have to refill it frequently, we might want to bring. I don't know what we can do. Let's bring the. We'll bring the gator with us, and we'll put the saplings in the back of the gator. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So let's run on up, get the gator and the saplings. And then we'll take it out to, to plot 18 and give it a try and see how we like it. Okay, let's go over here.
That's Ponderosa, that's Ponderosa, that's Lodgepole. Okay, we'll start with those. Oh, that brings up another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I have learned um, from watching some other YouTubers play this game, uh, and I do, by the way, watch other YouTubers play Farming Simulator, that... This, well, actually, I've learned a couple of things. Um, first of all, my dad, who watches these videos, um, confirmed that spruce actually, in real life, is a less expensive wood than, you know, like like pine and, and stuff. So I can't remember. He, he rattled off some trees, but, like, laundry, uh, but definitely pine is more valuable than spruce. So that's... So we learned that. The other thing that I have learned is that spruce trees are actually not useless and you know I, I didn't think they were useless but they have a they actually have a use and that use is that they're good for putting putting in your productions because your productions don't care in this game anyways if it's pine or spruce it doesn't matter to the production you know wood is wood and you get more volume from the spruce per tree than you do from the others. So what I'm thinking we might do then, knowing that, is... How come I can't put the, the strap thingy on here? Oh. We'll put it on that way. Okay. Let's see if we can get the stupid follow me to work. If we can't, I'll just have auto drive take it over there. Uh, so what I'm what I'm thinking of is we might down the road, anyways, uh, dedicate one of our plots to to spruce, and and the whole and and all of those those trees will go to our productions, and then we'll only sell the ponderosa and the lodgepole. Okay, that looks to have taken. Because the dude's in there. Okay, let's head on over to, to the property. Is he following? Yep, here he comes. All right, cool. Yeah, so here again, I mean, I don't know why that works sometimes, and other times it doesn't. And what I'm going to do net here and now, as we continue to log, is I'm going to set aside the spruce and take them to our productions and just sell you know and like in the containers in we're, we're just going to sell the ponderosa pine and the lodgepole so maybe what i'll do is i'll have the logging trailer the normal logging trailer you know with the bunkers in it on the logging site and when we cut spruce down we just throw the spruce inside of that trailer and go from there so, yeah, we'll try that and see how that works. I also, you know, because I do watch other people play this game, um, I found out, not, not intending to, but it just kind of happened, I found out where two more carvings are. Uh, I, I certainly don't watch, you know, the videos so, so I can find that out because I like to, you know, find them, but sometimes it just happens. Um, but what I won't, what I'll do though is I will. Sorry, I'm I'm tr I'm trying to think about where to stage here. Um, let's actually stage across the road. That's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, anyway. When we get close to the area where those are located, we'll stop and grab it. But I'm not going to make a special trip to it, and, you know, that's all I can do. So, it's going to happen, you know. Uh, I'm not so concerned about it one way or the other that if, you know, if I see that they're going to find a carving, I'm going to turn the channel. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me, but... Needless to say, I know where two more are, and when we're close by them, the next time we're close by them, we'll stop and grab them. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Um, most of the carvings, though, that I have found in this game, I have actually found. I didn't know that they were there. 
Um, but there's been like, I don't know, two or three that I've found out about by watching other YouTubers. Okay, so enough of that. Let's uh, stop here. And I think, I'm not exactly sure how this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Can we just like get next to this and load them? Uh, we'll need to take the straps off first, I'm sure. Whoops. Okay, so let's bring up this menu. B is turn on. Usually R is fill. Okay. I might have to set the saplings on the ground first. Let's get a little closer to him first and see what happens. Oh yeah, okay, refill tree planter. Oh, okay, so that, if I'm reading the number right down on lower hand, right hand corner, they put 65 of those in. That's great, okay, so that means we can do more than, the only thing we won't be able to do with this is we won't be able to mix them up like we, could that little wheel thingy, but if this is faster though, that might be all right. Okay, so lower tree planter. Let's get off the road. Okay, turn on tree planter. And does it just automatically plant? Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. And it kind of spaces them out on its own, too. Oh, all right. I like this. Maybe I will like this better than the other one. Because I don't have to worry about the spacing. I just have to worry about the, the driving around. And it takes care of the spacing, right? Yeah, this is not bad, you guys. I actually like this method. Okay, so what I'm gonna... That is really cool. Um, let's put it in cruise control. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna use this, drive around, and plant some trees. Okay, so we're going to make a change here. This little tractor is struggling when I start going uphill, even though it does meet the horsepower requirements. So we're going to go get the Valtra. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can try. I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give me one more 
chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there. And I want you to know that I'm lost without you. I'm not without you. I hope I can show what you mean to me. Cause I don't know what to do. I think that just about wraps things up here for us uh, on planting the trees. I have to say, um, I like this method better than using that uh, little round head thingamadoodle. Not that the round head thingamadoodle was bad. Look at that tiller, man. That is cool. But uh, this, I don't know, this just, just seemed a little simpler. I, the one thing I didn't have to really worry about was the spacing. I just had to make sure, you know, that I wasn't going over the same territory that I had gone over before. And, and I was mostly able to do that by just, you know, seeing where my tire tracks were from the previous pass. Uh, and then, as you probably noticed, um, I was also, you know, kind of zigzagging too, just so it's not a straight pattern. I wanted to look, you know, somewhat random. And yeah, so I think uh, we got this place planted. It'll be interesting to see how the first how the first property will look once the trees are fully grown um, compared to to this property here uh, you know it, using the two different methods it's quite possible we won't even really be able to tell the difference aside from the fact that this property is going to have big patches of ponderosa and then big patches of uh, lodgepole whereas the other one was a lot more random so that that is there is something to be said about that for sure Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I want to send you, well, here, actually, let's just offload Control-I, maybe? How do I do that? Turn on tree planter. There's got to be a way to offload. I, I, I did it last, well, actually, I haven't done it in this one. R doesn't work. I doesn't work. control I doesn't work. Shift I doesn't work. Usually it's Control I or I that offloads stuff. Uh, do I have to have it lowered down? Maybe. Hmm. That's weird. Um. You know this is a lease, so I don't want to keep them in there. Can I lift them up out of there? Okay, um, if I just return the lease, do the trees drop on the ground? Uh, you know, the other thing we could do, um, I'm definitely going to use this. We could just buy it, and then we have it. It's not that expensive anyway. So, yeah, you know what? Let's just buy it. That way we have it. The trees are already in it, $25,000. There, okay, that solved that problem. It still would be nice to know how to unload this thing, though. Great. Okay, well, um, I'm going to send uh, you, whoop, I hit, keep hitting the wrong buttons there. I'm going to send you up to, yeah, the logging camp, and we'll follow you up there in the gator. 
And then let's see. We're going to try out a new mod next. Um, in the And we're also going to start clearing our new property. So what I want to try this time around is I want to... I want to try and clear the land, you know, from the, the underbrush and the dead trees and all that first before we do the logging and see, you know, if that works better rather than, you know, trying to do it as we go or do it after the fact. And uh, there's, a new, there's a new mod. Well, it's not a new mod. It's been out for a while, but it's new to me uh, that I want to try as a part of that process. So let me kind of get um, things put away here and situated, and then I'll bring you guys back. Uh, we'll get that mod and we'll give it a try. All right, guys, we are back at the shop here. And uh, whether Sam Hill, the shop manager, likes it or not, I'm going to use this parking lot as my staging area for now. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay, let's get this disconnected. Nice. Nice roof. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm in the wrong vehicle. I was looking at my uh, low boy trailer over there. I have the sides extended on that, but they magically retracted back in, which is really weird. Um, okay, so a couple things we, we're going to want to do here. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do, you guys? Um, I'm going, I think I'm going to sell, here, let's go over here. I think I'm going to sell my excavator and here's why. I've used, I have the excavator for two purposes. To run the harvester and up until now, I had it to plant trees. But we're not going to use that anymore for planting trees. And I want to get the uh, the Rotney harvester. So we don't really. Um, okay, hold on a sec. There we go. Uh, we don't really need need it anymore. And, you know, if I ever do need it again, I can always either lease it or buy it. So, here, let's just turn that off for the moment. It's a nice machine, there's no doubt about it. Uh, yeah, the sides on this suck back in, too. That is really weird. I don't know why I did that. Um... Here, let's get in the truck here. <laughs> oh, farming simulator. You're killing me, man. All right, here, let's, um... And I took a screenshot of it, too flip the vehicle, but it doesn't flip that. Um, okay. Man, I tell you what, I don't know how you, if anybody, any of you guys who are watching me play this game on console and you don't have access to easy development tools and stuff like that to fix these issues, how do you, how do you deal with this? I don't know, maybe easy development does work on um, um okay, hold on a sec. Why it's not letting me Oh, is it it's probably because this became unattached. That happens when you flip it. There we go. Um What was I saying? Yeah, I mean How do you deal with these kinds of situations if you don't have easy development tools, you know what I'm saying? Or or power tools or one of those. Okay, so I want to get this out of the way for now. Now, what we're going to do with this is flip it back up. There we go. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, we own this too. This isn't this isn't an actual lease. Uh, we own the excavator, so uh, you know, and it, it's an it's very, it's pretty new. It's only got one month on it, six hours. So yeah, let's um let's sell it because the money we can get for it can then go towards the Rotney. Uh, but we'll take it over here. We'll clean it up. We'll repaint it. Do all the all the stuff to it before you know that you want to do to a, a vehicle before you resell it. And we'll get recoup a nice chunk of change, and then, like I said, that can go towards the Rotney. Nothing against this this vehicle. It's a great vehicle, but. I've, I've already tested out the Rotten on a test save, and I can tell you uh, without a doubt that I like it better than this. And we have, again, discovered in this episode that we like the other planting method better. So, yeah. I What I don't like about this excavator is the, the grapple. I had a lot of trouble with the grapple not working correctly. So that I'm not impressed with. The paint looks really good on here. But you always make, you know, a, just a tiny little bit of profit. Nothing super substantial, but a little bit if you paint it first before you sell it. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's go to here. Uh, we want to repair. $53,000 to repaint this thing? Whoo! Lord almighty. Okay. That means that then the sale price should be... That's uh, that's too much for my brain to figure out. Okay, so 286 Three hundred and forty thousand. Okay, so if we repaint this, we should be able to sell it for a little more than three hundred forty thousand for this to be worth it. Look at that, three hundred forty-five thousand. So yeah, we made about five grand by repainting that. Very cool. Okay, let's sell it. Goodbye, Volvo Excavator. We are up to six hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred twenty-one dollars, ladies and gentlemen. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. I see no reason not to, to wait to get our, our Rotney. We've already purchased our next property. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Um, let's go into well, here. We'll just go back to here. We'll talk to Sam Hill, the store, the store guy, and say, hey, dude, we need a Rotney, and we need it now. Actually, we don't need it right now, but we're going to get it anyways. So I'm talking about the H21D. 470,000 big ones to buy this thing, but this is a very, very nice machine you guys um it's got a um an 80 centimeter uh diameter that it can handle you know actually now that i think about that what was the what was the excavator's diameter 81 centimeters yeah okay one centimeter is not going to make that much difference okay so uh, let's go back to here. Now, this guy is 120 centimeter. This thing is a beast of a harvester. And at some point in the future, we may actually give it a try. It'll, it'll handle up to 120 centimeters, but look at the price tag on it. <laughs> it's a three quarters of a million dollars. And it's also very slow too, but, uh, it's quite the machine. We'll probably try it at some point if for no other reason, so we can just try it and say that we did. But um. I'll bet you this Komatsu 951, this is the one we started with, but we had a, you know, a, a very worn version of it. It only did 65 centimeters, so it wouldn't cut the spruce. This one does 70, so it probably can handle the big spruce. That's a pretty nice machine too, but I think, again, I think I want to go with the Rodney because it can handle 80 centimeters. Okay, so... Wheel brand. We'll probably configure these for winter time. 
So those are really the only two options that we have. Okay, so we'll just go with the normal rubber tires, and that's really all, all we have on it to configure it. Such a nice machine, though. Okay, and guess what? It's ours. <laughs> ah, look at that. And we still have $224,000 left over. She's a beaut. Look at that thing, man. Very, very cool. Okay, yep, yeah, so this is our new, our new harvester. Lots of nice lights on it. Okay, why? Oh, unfold. It's chained. Unfold. Oh, Z. See, most unfold is usually X. So that one's different. I'm glad that showed up in the menu or I'd be like going, what the heck, man? Okay. So that's the boom control. Uh, no, that's the boom control. This is the stick control. Well, is this on? Yeah, this is on easy control, but I, we want it on easy control for this, though, actually, because then we can use the auto alignment thing. Look at that head, man. Nifty. Okay, cool. Uh, but we're not actually ready to use this right now. So let's fold it back up. And it chains it too. Very cool. Love it. All right, we'll just kind of get it out over into the out of the way here, because, uh, like I said, before we get started with actual logging, I want to see if we can clear some of the brush and stuff out of here. We can probably just park this right here. That is a nice toy we have there. Nice new toy. H21D, baby. Okay, let's head on over here. So, what we're going to try is we're going to get a couple of things. Um, so, let's go over here to the store. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to uh, Forest Street. No, not Forestry Equipment. We want to go to trailers, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lease for now, and maybe later buy the IT runner skip. This this holds eighteen thousand liters of product, including um, hopefully including wood chips, because that's what we're gonna actually use it for. Um, does it show wood chips down here? Yeah, I think those are wood chips right there. Okay, so I think we're good. All right, so let's uh, lease this. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into... How did I get over here? We're going to go back into here, and we're going to go to forestry equipment. And this is, like I said, this is a mod that I want to try. So basically what this implement will do is it will... Oh, it holds chips inside. That doesn't make sense. Real, unreal. Okay, here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to not say it can hold anything because it really shouldn't be able to. I don't know why they call this unreal, but what I want is I want this pipe so that we can throw the chips into our wagon and this will not only eat stumps but it'll eat trees and it'll eat brush and it'll give us chips for doing that wow look at the price on this i didn't <laughs> holy cow i didn't realize it was that expensive 
We're just gonna lease it for now. Good lord, that's expensive. But I mean, if it if it works according to how it's you know advertised, then uh, we might actually end up buying it. Okay, so let's hop in the Valtra here. Wow, I didn't e I didn't even look at the price on that. I I would not have guessed that it'd be that much money. Goodness gracious. Um, we might have fun getting hooked up to it too. Let's see if we can wrap around this way. That should do the trick. Okay. Now, let's get the skip on here. This is such a, a versatile setup, this little IT runner. Really like it. Okay, so um, now let's get over here. Make sure the train's not coming. Now, how do I flip that thing around? Pipe out. Oh, you just, okay. Like that. So this should work kind of like a forage harvester where it's just going to throw the chips into the back of the trailer. Um, hopefully it can reach it. Turn on wood chipper. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how this thing works. to lower it. Here, I want to get off the tracks. Um, okay. It's not doing anything with the brush. Let's see if it'll eat a tree. It's not letting me lower it. So I'm missing something. Okay, it eats stumps. Hmm. It's supposed to chew up all this brush and do chips, but it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. There, let's hit this little tree here. Okay, it works fine for trees. But we're not getting chips out of it, and it's not doing brush. So let me go see if I can figure out what the deal is with this. I think we have to get the one that has capacity in order to get chips. Um, so let's, let's go over here. Well, actually, because we leased this, um, we can't co reconfigure it. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let's just return this one. Uh, forestry machines? Probably no. Forestry equipment. Yeah. Okay, so let's just return this. And then we're gonna release it, but I'm gonna make whoops. I'm gonna make the game 
pay me for it, pay me back for it, because in real life, you know, we would have known what to do to, you know, get the right setup. Okay, so let's go back to here. And I, I watched a, a, a tutorial video on this. The guy in the video said that they have, they miss, they mixed up the real with the unreal. But all this really means is does it have a pipe or does it not? So I, it's, it's a little bit weird. Um, okay. So, yeah, I guess, I guess we have to have a capacity on it in order for it to, um, give us chips. See, I, I'm, I thought that meant that the, the device itself would have a capacity of 50,000 liters, which is, is definitely unreal, but the unreal is just whether or not it has a pipe. So it's, it's really odd. I don't know. It's kind of strange, but this should work. Um, all right, so let's lease this and I'm going to pay myself 63,000 or uh, no, $6,373. Okay, so we recoup that money. Um, all right, now let's let's see if we can get this thing to work. The other thing, though, too, is I may have been mistaken about its ability to do brush. It seemed to me like when I was looking at the screenshot on the mod hub for it, it was showing a guy going through brush you know, and it's shredding the brush and, and doing chips. Okay, can I raise and lower this? Yes, I can. Okay. So turn a pipe over. I can still raise and lower it, so that's still working. Okay, so let's go over here. I mean... It it, even if it does only do trees, it's still going to be really useful because I can just go through and shred all the little trees and all the dead trees and get, you know, some chips from it and then not have to mess with them later. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Lower it down. But yeah, see, it's not, it's not eating the brush. Okay, well, that kind of sucks, but... It's still, like I said, it still can be useful to us. Uh, that little lodge pole there can still get us a six meter log, so we're gonna hang on to that. Uh, let's see, here's a dead tree over here. Let's see what we can do with this one. That rock's kind of in the way. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it, it, it threw a few chips in the back. But because it was a dead tree, we didn't get very much. Okay, let's try this little lot, uh, Ponderosa here. Oh, and we'll, we'll get the stump too. This rock is like right smack dab in the way. Can we get it? There we go. Okay. We could get a six meter out of this, but it would be a really small log. So I think I'd rather turn this into chips. We're not wasting the tree if we're getting chips, right? There it goes. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, it, it's not going to do brush for us, but what it is going to do is remove the dead trees and the small trees and give us wood chips for them in the process. Uh, so I still think it's um, definitely a handy tool here. And it'll remove the stumps, you know, from them as well. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to go through here and eat all the little trees and all the dead trees. And um, I guess I'll, you know, the thing that sucks, though, is I'm going to have to come through here again with the forestry mulcher to get rid of the brush. But, I mean, what can you do, right? 
unless I can find something later on ModHub that'll do all of that in one shot. I was kind of hoping it would, but I'm not I'm not displeased with this though. This is still, like I said, very useful for us. But um, all right, guys. So here's the deal. I I suspect we're out of time in this episode. So what I'm going to do is go through with this, get get the dead trees and the and the little trees out of the way. Then I'm going to go through again with the forestry mulcher and try and clear, you know, probably not all of the brush, but some of the brush. And when I get all of that done, I will bring you guys back in the next episode and we will get started uh, logging again with our new uh, Rotney uh, wood harvester. Okay, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.